So this morning's comment of a coffee is um, on the move because we're taking the car in for a service and we're going to be working in coffee shops and stuff today. So this morning I wanted to chat about what it means or maybe more importantly what it doesn't mean if you haven't found the thing that you want to spend the rest of your life doing. So um, so many people are studying and working and, and you know doing your thing and then you, you kind of have this idea that you're supposed to one day find this inspiring role or job you know this is the thing that I want to spend the rest of my life doing and I, to, to be fair a lot of us don't actually have that or a lot of people don't find that or don't have that does that mean that you're not going to be successful does that mean that you're never going to find your passion and does that mean that this is you know this is going to be a spoke in in the wheel of of your career so as part of uh, as part of this discussion we have my awesome hubby Richard who's trying to drive who's trying to drive at the same time <laughs> so <laughs> this will also answer the question of whether or not men can multitask which I can tell you now they can't <laughs> uh oh <laughs> okay so so Richard what's your take on whether or not you should have found the thing you want to do for the rest of your life and how important that is uh, my my view is that you don't I don't think there is a thing that you do for the rest of your life. Very few people find that calling. I think you know, maybe if you're in some type of faith-based ministry or you're a, you, know, you find a doctors or you know where there's a much deeper lifelong skill set of learning. Yeah. But I think in business or you know, in a profession, you, you've got to be okay with the fact that it's going to chop and change. Like you're going to learn, you're going to grow. The industry changes, so therefore, yeah. you know, what you thought was your thing for the rest of your life, you know, maybe a computer's doing that in six months' time or six years' time or 60 years' time, who knows. But it's okay to just kind of do what's the thing now right? rather than what's for the rest of your life, I think. Because um, you, I mean, you've changed your thing a couple of times, right? Yeah, plenty, right? From you know, being, a, for being a show jumping horse person to... Yeah. You know, to being an entrepreneur, to being a chartered accountant, to being a high school teacher, um, <laughs> I've grown and changed, you know. So, yeah. what I would think was my passion or my skill set has changed as I've grown up and experienced things, and the world has changed. That's true. You know, what we do now, you couldn't have done 10 years ago. There wasn't cloud computing, there wasn't, yeah. you know, this video wouldn't have been able to be hosted on YouTube yeah. and, and shared without a huge cost infrastructure. Yeah. Um, now you can do it for a couple of cents, right? Um, or for free. Um, which means that your, your your whole opportunities, your potential for making an impact is different. Keeps so, changing. Yeah. So, you know, as long as you're thinking about something more than money, um, make an impact, and that's your priority. Um, as long as you can pay the bills while you're doing that, it doesn't have to be forever. Okay. Yeah. So I like to call it reasons and seasons. We have different seasons of our lives for different reasons and those reasons <clears throat> are varied whether you know you need to to make money while you're studying and you literally are just working so that you can study uh, or the reason might change to you know to, to do articles purely to get the experience that you need uh, you know getting jobs uh, and building skills and building processes, building relationships, building networks. Everywhere you go, you take something with you from your last season. And if you, you know, if you see your last job or your last season as useless and, oh, well, it wasn't forever, so it's meaningless, that's a mistake because you're going to take something away from that. You know, you're going to take some kind of skill, some kind of, of growth, some kind of development away from that. But the idea that there has to be one thing, you know, like you're happily ever after, you know, that happily ever after job, um, very, very unlikely to be the case. You're going to find a whole bunch of things that excite you and move around, you know, and explore more stuff. And the more that you explore, the more you'll find stuff that excites you, which is amazing. You know, instead of sitting behind one desk doing one thing for the rest of your life, you, you know, you might find yourself doing a whole bunch of different things in different places. So, uh, this morning's message is if you're worried that you haven't found your thing that you're meant to do for the rest of your life don't worry 
you know, most of life's journey is about exploring and finding stuff and, and, and looking for interesting stuff around you that fills you with excitement and energy and passion. And um, you know, because you, you haven't found your happily ever after job doesn't mean anything as far as your career and your success is concerned.